that we have here. Well, big news, I have a new boat. I wasn't looking for a new boat and I wasn't intending on selling Calliope, but this came up for sale. And you can maybe see why I couldn't resist. Uh, it's a 16 foot cat boat designed by Jim Inglis, who's a Queensland boat designer here in Australia. He's designed a few little traditional boats, but he's also been quite successful uh, designing Sydney to Hobart type yachts, uh, which this is clearly not one of. Uh, the beauty of this is it's got a cabin, but you can see it's an uh, amazing lap straight clinker. It's got a cabin, it's got a traditional gunter rig, um, rigged as a cat. Uh, so here we are at Bribey and we're going for a couple of days on the new boat. What do you think? Uh, so our plan, we just launched at Spinnaker Sound down here. Uh, we've currently gone up the channel, we're just going past this uh, starboard mark here and we're going to go past Torval. We won't stop there today. Um, we'll continue right up to Donnybrook and then it'll be high tide at lunchtime so we can go around Little Goat Island and then come back down the main channel which could be a bit of a challenge um, if this wind doesn't um, swing around to the west like they say it will. It's currently got a lot of south in it. Gee, I couldn't have asked for better conditions for a first shakedown sail. This is amazing. Five knots if we're lucky. I'll tell you what, we're moving though. Unbelievable. Here's the little town of Torbal. Uh, there's a boat ramp there. This is where the Bribey Island Classic Boat Regatta has its lunchtime stop. Uh, there's a good little fish and chip shop over there and a toilet uh, so it's pretty convenient uh, for people cruising up and down here. Nice little town. So here's Torbal, it's very reminiscent of most Australian seaside villages maybe a few hundred people. Uh, general store, which is also the fish and chip shop burger shop. It becomes the tavern at night. A uh, little boat ramp. Yeah, nice little place. Not stopping there today. I've actually got some breeze picking up, but it's coming from a different direction to what the forecast said. It's coming from the northwest, but that's okay. That'll help us heading back down the channel later. This boat points pretty well too. I'm, uh, as you can see, reasonably on the wind here.
There we go, food. So we just left Donnybrook after lunch and we're heading around Little Goat Island and the wind is not playing the game at the moment, it's all over the place. This is an unexpected destination. This is Mission Point Campground. <clears throat> I've taken a wrong turn somewhere. Anyway, that's okay. Good to see it. It's a nice spot. Heading south again. I've actually had to put a reef in. Okay, this is a pretty much a straight downward run. There's a little bit of breeze now, I reckon 8 to 10. And she's very balanced, a little bit of weather helm, just a very little bit. Uh, but I tell you what, I wouldn't want any more than this like under full sail. I got some bullets before and she really lets you know she's not happy. Uh, but this is okay. And we are absolutely moving. Yeah, I think this is going to be a boat where you reef and reef early. Magnificent. It's a hell of a lot of boom hanging out over the side, I tell you. Okay, so I got a bit of weight on the tiller then. A bit of weather helm. Not too bad. Oh well. So far so good. I was worried about how it would behave downwind. back at 